Mark, from your perspective as someone who's been inside the government, um, are, can you talk a little bit about who investigates um, the kinds of OT cases that we're talking about um, and how often they become public information and why we, have, why we don't hear about some of them, at least some of them? Well, I think it depends on the, the, the vertical of the critical infrastructure. Certainly, you know, in the electricity industry, which, you know, I'm most familiar with, um, Department of Energy and NERC coordinate on those events. You know, uh, I've been out so long, I can't remember the name of the report. Joe knows what it is. You know, uh, DOE requires utilities to file a report anytime there's a cyber event. Um, so, and, and, and you know, I, I would say, and, and, you know, whether you think that the critical infrastructure protection standards for the electricity industry are um, good or bad, I don't think that anyone would argue that the electricity industry isn't better off today than they were before the SIP standards. The problem is the electricity industry is the only of the 16 critical infrastructures that has any kind of um, federally mandated security standards, um, cybersecurity standards. Um, so that's a problem from a, from a, to your point, a reporting perspective. Um, you know, in, in many cases, companies are not required to report cybersecurity incidents. You know, that's one of the things in the current executive off uh, executive order that President Biden is is considering right now is to require certain industries that um, that service or supply the federal government to have mandatory reporting requirements after a security incident. So, so why doesn't it happen more often? Well, I think it's obvious. You know, I mean, one bad publicity is not good for a public company. Um, and so I think a lot of these, a lot of, a lot of the cases that simply, um, they're able to remediate quickly enough. Uh, there was no harm, no foul. So no reporting occurs. Um, and, you know, is it right? I don't know if it's right or not. You know, the, certainly the, you know, I think to your other part of your question, um, the government gets involved in some of these. DHS uh, gets involved in a lot of these cases, and DHS has a program specifically so that if a company is having a problem, is, has had an incident, they can. And again, I forget what the name of the, I forget the the exact name of the program, but um, but they can call DHS, call um, US CERT, and report a program, and U.S. CERT assures that confidentiality of that report so that they can help them mitigate it. Um, and it, it's been a very successful program. They find out they're able to help and, and remediate a lot of uh, public sector security problems um, that, that they would never know about if they didn't have this vehicle for confidentiality. 